Right, just had this lovely chestnut common from Philo's Lake and Ivor. Taking on the essential cell, mini micro pop-ups, feeding essential cell over the top, just a little and often tactic. Something I do in the matches. Let's put this one back and see if we can turn one bite into a few more. So three tips to get your catch rate up and running. Firstly, when you get into a swim, and you've got fish in front of you, you're just trying to look for that early bite. You don't want to be putting loads of bait out and spooking them. I'd start with a bright hook bait, maybe a pop-up or a wafter, or even a bottom bait, just tipping it off. Something like these, little 12 mil wafter, or even a topper. I'll then stick on maybe a little bag of crushed boilies there, maybe a little bag of pellet, nick one of them on just onto the hook, then for an extra bit of attraction, a bit of PVA friendly liquid. Do something there that can get you that early bite and then you can build on your swim. Next, casting accurately is vital. You don't want to get a spot rocking and then be, I don't know, two, three foot away. Wrapping up your rods, clipping up at the beginning of the session so you can get the rod straight back out as soon as you get a fish back on that same spot and on that feeding area. Perfect. And finally, I'm just putting a few baits in, just little and often, just keep it going in, a bit of noise, a bit of fresh smell, either with a spawn or a catapult, or like I'm doing here with a throwing stick, just keeps the fish interested. I'm not putting too much bait out to spook them, just enough to keep them there and carry on nicking them bites. Well, I spoke to you earlier about tips and tactics and how to build your swim and how to turn one bite into several, and it can't get much better than this. 30 pounds, six ounces of Farlow's mirror carp. Taken on the essential cell, and what absolute stunning creature. Absolutely buzzing, made up with this.